the purpose of the Black Women's Player Collective is to really support one another as Black female athletes, but also give each other the strength and solidarity to know that our experiences matter and that in the long term, it can only make our league stronger and our community stronger and hopefully give young Black girls the confidence moving forward to know that their voices matter. I'm Amani Dorsey and I am a game changer. I think some of the challenges I faced as a player along the way of my soccer career definitely would have to be the pressure and the expectations. Sky Blue select Imani Dorsey from Duke University. I always felt a large sense of responsibility to my coaches and my teammates to be the best I could be. It's helped me understand kind of what drives and motivates me. I want the best for my team and I want the best for my teammates. I got involved with the Black Women's Player Collective last year. The Black Women's Player Collective is initially the group of Black women in the NWSL, and our mission, our goal and purpose is to amplify and elevate the image of Black professional women, especially in soccer, but ideally just across platforms. I believe that every young girl has an incredible opportunity in the sport of soccer. It's not just to become a professional athlete, but to get an education. I remember my first goal, once I realized what soccer could do for me as a kid, was to get a full scholarship. Being able to go to Duke and then get a great education on top of that was a door that soccer opened. And I feel like the National Women's Soccer League has a responsibility to not only further the sport for women and inspire the next generation, but continue to open doors for women across industries. It's not just sport, it's education, it's business, it's government, it's policy, and it's really more so presenting it, the image of a woman who can do anything and who's versatile and motivated and determined and ambitious and, and fearless and brave. I think you can look at any player in the NWSL and she would tick all of those boxes. The main partnership that we have right now is with the U.S. Soccer Foundation and Black Players for Change for our mini pitch initiatives, which are basically converted basketball courts or old tennis courts at local parks or schools in underserved communities across the country and turning them into soccer pitches. And with our partners, we were able to install the 50th pitch in the New York City Soccer Initiative just in time for Juneteenth. The bigger social issues we're aiming to address by building mini pitches is really using the mini pitches as an opportunity to engage with the local community, especially young girls and young black girls in these communities. We easily know how to coach and, and teach kids, and but the, the real point of it was to make it a celebration, a celebration of these young girls and let them know that they matter and they're valued. I'm incredibly thankful for this donation, for giving me the opportunity and giving the Black Women's Player Collective an opportunity to give back in a way that we feel is impactful to the community partners that have supported us. Three, two, one, cut! Oh. All I want these girls to know and these kids to know is that they're valued and they matter and that they can dream of whatever they want and they can be whoever they want and we're here to support them through that. We believe this is the best league in the world and we're humbled and proud to be a part of it, but it's also super important for us to use the platform that we have because of this league to hopefully make some greater change. Three, two, one.